I thought I would do another video on um, a little bit of color changing on a car, except this time I thought I would show you how to do black to whatever color that you wanted, because the method that I did in my last video really wouldn't work out to do black or white. Um, it would just give you a grayscale car. And I found that I saw some people trying to figure out how to do black to, you know, whatever color that they wanted. It's a little bit of a different technique. Um, the only thing about this is I haven't really figured out a way to change the, say, pearl or finish of a car. Like uh, from this, my truck, I want to make it matte black. I don't really know how to do that. But I can take this black truck that I have mine and change it to purple, red, green, whatever. Still with the clear coat, still with the reflections that you're going to get. Um, I'm sure that there's a way to do, to actually change the finish of a car. But, uh, you know, if somebody could tell me, I'd love to know how to do that. Um, so I'm just going to show you the method that I do to change from black to whatever. Uh, what I did before starting this video was I made the selection of the body of the truck. It takes a while to do a selection. I didn't spend a lot of time on it, but um, I just basically covered, you know, as much as the, of the actual body panels as I could. Um, and, you know, like I said, it's not going to be too accurate, but there's a lot of ways to make selections on a vehicle or on anything. You can find some ways on my channel. There's a lot of ways to do it on YouTube. Um, so, you know, learn to make the selection of your body panel and then go from, from this point. Um, so I'm going to load up my selection. It's into the channel, uh, the body I've called it, and I'm just going to command, click on body and select it. And then I'm going to go into my RGB channel and my layers palette. And from this point, what you want to do is you want to add a new layer above your background. And very important is you want to fill it with a neutral color like brown is perfect actually to do this so go to your color um, picker here and just choose a, a brown a medium brown is good you're gonna go to edit fill and make sure you have foreground color and you know your blending mode should be at normal click OK and okay you got this nasty brown that you would never want on a car um, but it's gonna change you're gonna go to your blend mode on the layer that you just created and you're gonna set it to screen so you can see through. Um, and now this is where the fun part comes. You just go up to image, adjustments, hue, saturation, and just choose colorize. Make sure that's checked. Okay, and now um, you're just gonna start playing around with your sliders to figure out what color that you want the base of this to be. Uh, so if you move it around on the hue, you're gonna see the different tones, different colors that you can choose. Um, but the key is to also play around with saturation and lightness because, yeah, you have these cool colors here, but there's a lot more colors when you play around with these other bars. So I'm going to go towards, um, I think I'll go towards a bluish color. It's my color of choice usually. And if you play around with the saturation, you can see it's giving it a lot cooler of a, of a tone. The lightness, you can definitely play with that. Uh... Except, you know, you don't want to go too bright, because look at that, you're going to be right back to your mask. Um, but I'm going to go a little less than the middle of the road. Maybe brighten this up a little bit more. Okay, and you can click OK. Now, if you're satisfied with that, you can hit Select and Deselect, and you get a look at your truck or car or whatever. And that looks cool, but there's a lot more you can actually do to it um, color-wise. I mean, that's the cool thing about Photoshop. There's color... There's everything to do with colors. You can change every little effect uh, when it comes to colors with Photoshop. So I'm going to unselect that. I mean, I'm going to reselect that. And I'm going to go into Image, Adjustments. And I'm going to go to Color Balance. And now this is where you have your three options of midtones, highlights, and shadows. Again, with these slider bars, I mean, just start moving them around and, and get the right you know, color of what you're trying to achieve. Which is not purple. And, you know, select your shadows, do the same thing, play around with it until it starts looking the way that you want, want it to look. Uh, forest green kind of looks cool, kind of goes with the background. Uh, yeah, but I'm going to stick to blue, bluish, and okay. And there's, uh, like I said, a, a lot of different choices. So you've got vibrance, uh, if you start playing with your vibrance. That's going to change it a little bit. Your saturation there, lower it. You know, that's going to be back to black. Don't want that. Uh, da, 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 da. We got 
Um, channel mixer is a good one. This is uh, where you could specify specific things to affect, like only the blues. Um, and again, I'm just you know moving around to find the balance of something that you want. But I'm going to leave it at that for now. I uh, don't want to make this video too long. But you get the idea. Again, it's just adding a layer, changing the blend mode to screen, and then hue, saturation, colorize, and just, you know, playing around. But the trick is is to make sure that you have a good selection and neutral color when you fill it. When you start that screen layer with the original fill, it needs to be a nice neutral color like brown. Uh, if you choose another color, it's not going to give you the same effect. So this is... Um, you know, just my way of changing from black to something else. Hope it helped you guys. Thanks.